Today, I'm going to be building five LEGO safes and hiding them inside this LEGO room. Starting with number one, which is actually already hit. And I'll give you a few seconds to guess where it is. If you said the window, then you'd be wrong, because it's actually in the bed. If we take our LEGO key here, then we can turn it and pop up our safe to get out our monies. This safe is built directly into the bed frame using a simple turnkey mechanism that just turns a LEGO lift arm and pops up this little plate. And this is the simplest safe of the video, but they're actually going to be getting more and more advanced so we can better protect our valuables. For this next one, we're going to need a hole. A perfectly square hole. <laughs> For this next one, I want to build a LEGO button safe inside the wall, and you'll have some sort of sequence by pushing different buttons that'll release some sort of drawer or something so we can store stuff in the wall. The first step is to make a hole in this wall so we can build a drawer on the inside. And then we'll add some hidden buttons that will unlock the mechanism, which will let the drawer pop out. And then if we add some tiles down here and build a simple drawer out of plates, we can make one that slides in and out. Ah! I'm good. All right, now we got our drawer. This thing slides right back into there. Wow, you can barely tell. Now that we got this, we need to build two buttons on the sides that will latch into this thing. And then we'll add some springs to the back so that it always wants to be pushed out. That way, when we release the buttons, it will just... So I came up with this mechanism. The way it works is really simple. When you press it, it's going to withdraw this yellow piece. If we have it like this, we push this button, now it can slide this out. And then this button will be on a spring or something. So we just need to upgrade this thing to fit in the wall. Check it out. Now, when you push this button, it withdraws this little thing. Now we just need one more thing. I'm just gonna take this guy, throw a couple of these on it, like that, and then we just need to add a little cheese slope, like that. Also, I added these little round pieces on the back using snot bricks, so that way it would slide past that and lock into place like that. Now we just need to build one more of these buttons, and then we can install them inside this so that they'll be invisible. And then to make this so it always constantly wants to pop out, I'm just gonna use one or two of these little Lego springs behind it. So this is it. As you can see on the back, we got all the mechanisms. We got this spring right here. So this thing will fit right in here. So here we have it, the hidden button safe. As you can see, I mean, you can't see. <laughs> but look, one of these you can press, but you have to find both buttons to unlock it. So you can take it out all the way, fill it up with your $20. Hey, it actually works. Put it back in and all you have to do is just press and it locks back into place. It works really, really well, very satisfying. But that was only a level two Lego safe. Next, I'm gonna build a level three, which is hopefully gonna be a little bit harder to get into. For this next Lego safe, I wanna hide it inside this Lego desk. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you might already know, there's already a secret compartment inside this desk. If you just push this little tab right here, inside of this will pop open, and then you can store stuff underneath. But I wanna create a second hidden safe compartment in the side of this safe right here, with some sort of statue on top that you can tilt to unlatch it, kinda of like in the Batcave. I made something like this a really long time ago with a smaller drawer. It was just like a skull on a box. It was kinda of sus, but this is not sus. <laughs> so first we need to build up a base. So now we have the base of the pedestal, and as you can see, it comes off like this, and I've left a hole in the middle. So we'll need some sort of lift arm to go through the middle of this and attach to the drawer mechanism. So now we gotta build the statue. Since I have no idea how to do that, I'm just gonna try and see if I can build something that looks kind of statuesque, and then we'll attach it to this with a hinge. Ta-da! Can't you tell who it is? Look at that. It looks just like him. I just need a little mechanism to pull the bottom up. Boom. Now we just need to build the drawer inside the desk. there's actually plenty of room in the back. Unfortunately, this is all overlapped, so removing a small section of wall means this whole thing needs to like come off, but we're just gonna break out a hole in this wall and build up a flush drawer with it, like we did for the button safe. All right, now we've got the drawer, and this should fit right inside this guy completely flush. It's really actually pretty simple when it boils down to how it works. Now I'm just gonna add some sort of spring to the back of this and then build a simple mechanism that'll just unlatch when you pull the thing on top. So they just lock into place. As soon as you release it, boom. Now I gotta use like something like this to build a release mechanism that'll go right here. All right guys, I think I got it. Check this out. As soon as you pull this guy up, it unlatches just like that. So now we just gotta attach this to our statue and put the top of the door back on. Take that off. Bring this little red stick up through here. Now if we take our statue, put it right here, just attach a simple linkage on the inside and it should be functional. We'll bring this guy back in. Here we have our level three Lego safe. Check it out. As you can see, you just push this guy back and it unlatches the drawer so you can get your money out or whatever else you want to put in here. 
In this drawer, it's pretty decent size. It works. And then to push back in, you just have to kind of push the statue back a bit and close it and it latches. That's cool, it's like the bat cave really. <laughs> and no one would know. I like it, I like how the statue turned out. It's got like a weird pointy upturned nose, but it, it works. For the next safe, I wanna put it inside this Lego arcade machine. And then I wanna repurpose these arcade buttons up here to actually be the controls to open it. So you have to put in like a cheat code hold two buttons down or whatever. And on this one, we're gonna make the drawer so it's actually motorized. I'm sick of all these simple safes. This is gonna be a coding masterpiece. Brick button, no. Touch sensor, compare. We're gonna connect two Lego buttons underneath the arcade machine controls. Then we'll just need a simple motor to open the door. The way this code works is actually quite simple. It just requires you to hold down two buttons for three seconds. But you won't know which buttons to hold down because they're all pressable already. There we go. And this thing will open our little panel so that we can access our safe. Now we just need to build one thing, which is a drawer. No, I'm sick of building drawers. We're gonna build a flap that's motorized on the front. First, we're gonna need the door from the machine. To step one, we take off half of it, and we're gonna build this into the platform so that this thing can actually sit in it. Step two, we add tiles to the top of this so you can't tell that there's a folding door above it. Step three, rebuild this as a thinner piece that we can connect to a motor up here so we can go and open the door. Step four, we add some Technic bricks to the sides of this thing so we can hinge. And I'm gonna build it upside down so I can put some slopes on the bottom and it will be flush with the door. Step five. Now that we have our working flap here, we need to motorize it. So we're gonna grab our motor. We're gonna attach our motor inside right here. Now all we have to do is attach something like this to it using an axle. And when we twist this motor, it's not supposed to do that. This time I built in a worm gear. Hopefully this will work. Fantastic. And now we can take this whole section and put it back in the arcade machine and then just install the buttons and technically it should be a functional safe. We're actually gonna have to take up this thing so we can put this guy right in the middle here. These buttons are just simple axles of springs. So what I'm gonna do is just put it right there and then take our little button and snap it on this side. And then I also want to do this one on the other side right here. All I did was just attach this simple mechanism that allows it to push these buttons by pushing them on top. Now we just gotta reattach a few pieces and it should be good to go. All we have to do, as you can see, if we push these random buttons, nothing really happens. You can hold down random ones by themselves, nothing happens. But when you do the right combination, holding down these two white buttons, as you can see, the safe opens. And you can put your stuff in it, your valuables, your phone, maybe not your phone, <laughs> something smaller than your phone. Hurry before it closes. Give me a pot of plate. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. There you go. We got a pot of plate, you can put it in there. And after 15 seconds, the safe will close. And we got a couple magnets here. All you gotta do is just push it and it seals into place. And you can't get that open unless you know where it is. <laughs> it's a level four safe. It requires more than one thing to do and no one's gonna know to push these two buttons. Except for all you guys, because you're watching this video, obviously. For the next Lego safe, I wanna hide it behind this Lego Spider-Man artwork set. This was actually Christian's idea behind the camera. Thanks, Christian. Thumbs up. <laughs> so my plan is to knock out another hole in this wall and put the super strong safe behind it. But you're not just gonna be able to open it and just get to the safe. There's gonna be a working fingerprint reader built into the wall. This is something I worked really, really hard on. <laughs> I bought this Arduino fingerprint reader and when you plug it into a battery via this Arduino setup that I invented, I've got it hooked up to a little Lego motor. If I try, for example, my ring finger, as you see, it scans it, it doesn't see it in the system. I can try my pinky. If I actually scan my thumb on this, watch the motor the motor turns. <laughs> so we can actually utilize this to open and close the picture. And it should be the most safe thing we've built so far. So let's build up this Lego set and see what we're working with. I've actually been super excited to build this set for months because I am the biggest Spider-Man fan. And this thing is just, ow, this thing is just beautiful. If I start bleeding there, you'll know why. So here we have the finished build, the Spider-Man painting. One of my favorite features in the instructions, it says to turn the head from side to side and you'll see the different expressions it makes. And with the eyes being shaped the way they are, it actually changes the expression, which is really cool. But this is gonna look super good in the Lego room. And if we put it right here, that means we only have to knock out four panels. Now unscrew. have to take out this beam. <laughs> now we can fit a giant safe there. And this is the secure Lego safe from our Lego security system video. Let me show you how it works. 
forgot the code. Uh, it's... I wondered what would break first, the safe or the mechanism. If we take off this little plastic piece here so you can see, we have the sliding latch, which actually gets caught in the safe. And then we have these three spinning discs, and each one of them has a catch. There's a hole on each of the discs right there. We wanna line that up with the latch, and then we go backwards, line that one up, and then we go like this, and line that up. And once they're all three lined up, it lets us slide the latch back in, therefore making it flush with the wall so you can slide it out of the safe. And the safe is just the top part of this where you can actually store stuff on top of the mechanism. We just need to slim down the casing a little. So now that we have this, which is basically just the front of the safe, so there's way less weight, we just need to build it into our white wall. Now this guy snaps right in here. So now that we got this guy in our section of wall, we need to install our fingerprint reader, which I just kind of clipped on there. So I just need to make a hole right here with a little door you can open so that you can access it. Next, we need to put a Technic hole in the wall so we can have a little latch that will actually lock this thing. As you can see, once we scan our finger, this thing should rotate 180 degrees. Now I just gotta come up with some simple hinges to install this picture. And I'm hoping nothing breaks. After multiple days of work on this last one, I finally finished it. This is the hidden Lego safe. I mean, no it's not. This is just a regular picture of Spider-Man, as you can see. It's built out of Lego. This is an amazing Lego set. I opted in for brick-built hinges, which are like just attached in the weirdest, wonkiest way using some brackets. But the really cool thing is what's behind this, because all you have to do is just flip up this little scanner and put your finger on the scanner. Listen. <laughs> the picture frame unlatches, and there's a hidden Lego safe. Then we can open our safe, as you can see right here, by putting in the secret combination. And there we go. We can pop out our safe and we can put money in the top here. Then you can pop this guy back in, bring your latch across and randomize it, and boom, you're good to go. Just close this up. There's a little stud right here it snaps into. And all you have to do is scan your finger one more time. And as you can see, it just turns and that latches right into here to keep it closed. And now it's latched, as you can see. It's not completely perfect, there's a little bit of wiggle room, but you're definitely not gonna think, oh, I can like open this, because when you try it, it doesn't come off. Is that not like super cool? Like you just open the frame up and there's a safe hidden behind it. And that, you guys, is a level five Lego safe. Huge thanks for watching this video. Check out one of these two videos. And don't forget to check out this video's sponsor, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store, for your Lego brick needs. You can check them out by clicking the link in the description or this button right here on the screen. See ya.